so first of all i will like to give a huge shout out to star zodiac 365 alan williams ah soltrix for commenting on my video and famina riaz for subscribing to my channel so thank you for supporting me so here you can see the website that i just created and i have shown the procedure of complete website design in this video so i will provide the link of this video in the description so if you want to see how i built this beautiful website you then you can watch that video so here you can see complete website and also i have added the videos over here from my youtube channel so i have used youtube data api for this so it will automatically fetch the latest videos and show seven of them over here so i have also recorded a video on this so i have not posted that currently but i will uh, publish that video before posting this video that i am currently recording so if you want to see that how i used the youtube api and created this videos page then you can watch that video so now let's move forward with the video so in this video i will show you how you can add the custom fields in your website so here like you can see we can add the url technologies used result and the image and then we will when we will go to the uh, front end we will be able to see all the post that we have posted in the portfolio and then here you can see the single post type page where we have the title the link that we added from the back end and the featured image plus the project description tools and technologies used and this big image of complete website screenshot so and then we will have the result so that's where, what we are going to do in this video and uh, let me also show you the portfolio page so here you can see the complete website screenshot and here you can see the title and the link of the project plus you can see view the item in detail right so we can see the single post type page as well so now let's go to the website and we will have to install a new plugin install acf so this is advanced custom fields so we will install this plugin activate so now here you see this new option so we will click on the plugin and now we can add new field group so here we will have to select the field type that we want uh, that we want to add so we will select text because first of all we want to add this text field where we will show the url and then we will add this tools and technology text field and then the result one so here we you can see we have two things text and text area so this one is text and this is the text area as you can see it has more space so now we can add a text and we will label a uh, label it as live url and we can also name the field name and the default value so we will click on we will also add the field title so we can copy this and add it we will click on save so here you can see we have added it and now we want to add another one so this one will be text area and it will be titled titled as tool and tag the mother of cheese gears and we will add this as well and we will click on add field go so it is added and now we will add another text area and we will label it as result and field name will be same and then we can just 
and close this and we will click on save so we will also have to select the post type so we will change it to portfolio item so it will add it in the portfolio and not in the post one so we will click on save so now let's go to portfolio items and click on add view so here you can see live url tools and technology used and result so let's add our demo content over here so we are just testing it out and we will click on publish uh, but we will also have to add the featured image so we can select any for now and we will also have to add a image over here for the full website screenshot so we will go back and we will go to ACF to add a new field and here you can see we have the field group so we will go to that and we will click on add field and we will add an image over here so we can label it as big image so we will click on save so now let's go to portfolio item again and click on edit and here you can see the big image over here so we will upload any website screenshot over here so the image is uploaded i will click on select and update so now we will create single portfolio page so for that we will have to go to templates and here we will click on add new and here we will have to select single post and here we will uh, write the name for the template single code volume so we will create the template so here we will have to first add the post title and we can also add the featured image so this is the featured uh, or feature only in Elementor Pro and not in the free one so here you will have to we can add the post content so you can also add the post info if you want so it will show the author name and the date time in the comments but I don't want to add that so I have added the featured image title and the description and then we can add social shares maybe so we can make them icons so here we can change it to custom and we will color like white maybe so we can also add the new ones like Pinterest WhatsApp email Reddit that's the most important thing is that we also have to include the advanced custom fields so for that we will go to text editor we will add a simple text editor and then we will go to dynamic tags and here we will go select in the ACF and the, when we will click on ACF field here we will see the key option so first we will write the live URL 
and then we will duplicate it and we will select tools and technologies used and then again we will duplicate and we will select the result one so now we can and we can uh, also include the uh, headings over here so we know that uh, this is the description project description and we have the description and then we have the live url so we will copy and paste this thing and then we will enable it as live url so we can also add we can also copy and paste it again for the so here we have the description first live url technologies used and result so we will name it as old and technologies used and now we will copy it again and paste it for our final item that is uh, and we have also we will also have to add for the big image so we can add the big image i think after the tools and technologies so we can use the image so here we have tools and technologies and we can add the image after that and we will click on the dynamic tag a cf image field and here we will select big image and here we will select the full one so the full screen capture will show and we will click on publish add condition and here we will have to select the portfolio items all so we will click on save so now let's go to the website and and before that we will have to add the portfolio page in the menu as well so we will go to appearance menus and we will add this portfolio page to the menu and now let's visit the website go to the portfolio page and here we see the portfolio items and when we will click on them we will see the project title project description and if we have not added the project description i think so so we will edit it and here we will write anything we will update and go to the page and so here you can see the test so we have successfully added the page and now let's see the other one as well to see the big image to see if we can see the full image or not so here you can see the full image as well Something similar and if you want to create a complete website like this website then you can see this video of mine where i've shown you the complete procedure so i have also created several videos on complete websites design so for that you can go to complete wordpress website tutorial and here you can see the videos like i've created a fiverr like website a startup company website architecture website real estate website e-commerce website and another e-commerce website using the woodmart theme and then this portfolio website in this video so i will provide all of the links in the description and the comment section so you can see that if you 
like to see any other similar tutorial so you can also subscribe to my channel like this video and share this video with your friends to support me as you can see i have created my web development portfolio website i am also providing web design services so if you want to uh, get your website done you can contact me so i am a top rated uh, freelancer on upwork and level 2 on fiverr so i can provide you wordpress shopify and other web development services for your website so you can just contact me if you need any help or want to create your website so thank you for watching this video see you next time